Winter. Uh, followed that up with uh, Soulful Strings and an instrumental version of Deck the Halls, or uh, if you also speak Welsh, then uh, Noskalan. And you just heard Dexy's Midnight Runners with their cover of Slade's Merry Christmas, Everyone. And let's move on to Pulp. Another rarity, but one that I did not take the audio of. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try and turn the camera up. Ah, God damn it, they stopped. Nigel was slurping Phoebe on the head, and it was adorable, and it was it just, they're just so sweet. They didn't start getting that affectionate until Mr. Midnight got really sick with his kidney failure and all that. But, you know, since then, they've been, they've been best buds. It's very cute. And they've taught Murnau to be that affectionate as well. But, you know, for now, not as close with them as, you know, they are with each other. It's so sweet. Right, TV? Right? All right, Nigel. Oh, Nigel, you know you're You know you're a sweet boy. Nigel looks kind of offended that I said right, TV, instead of right, Nigel. I made my boy jealous. Some kind of Russian bot thing here. Lovely. Uh, Siska asks, is Christmas a no-no by goth? I'm not goth, but do like the culture and follow some people on YouTube. Very interested in your favorite. This Halloween goth that. Uh, yeah, um, well, you know, uh, Christmas, I don't know, like a lot of goths end up being pagan. Um, in various sorts of ways, so it's not so much that it's like a no-no. It's just that, eh. But uh, but yeah, like uh, Project Records did. Um, actually, like there we're up to like, let's see. There's Excelsis volumes one, two, and three, which are mostly Christmas, but there's a couple um, um, songs there related to Hanukkah or Solstice. So. Um, so, uh, they're, like, technically holiday compilations. And then there's Ornamental, and then there was a collection of singles. Um, and Ornamental was two volumes. And I want to say that there's a fifth. I want to say that there's a, that they've done a fifth that I don't have yet. So, the, uh, the notion of, like, goth and Christmas music, like, not getting along, that's not true. That's not true, because... Um, at the very least, like, one of our oldest still existing, like, still operating record labels, um, associated with the goth subculture Project Records, like I said, th there's, um, there's four proper, at least four proper, um, winter holiday compilations, which, like I said, mostly Christmas-themed songs, but there's a couple, um, like I said, related to Hanukkah or related to Solstice or just related to winter festivities in general, so. But yeah, goths love winter. Please don't ask me to explain that. Um, I, I, I like to joke that it's probably probably because it's the best season to wear to wear layers of black velvet. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, what else did Siska ask? Have any plans? Uh, uh, Siska's spending it by himself. Oh no! You lost your friend last June. Oh no! That's oh gosh. Yeah, I don't really have any uh, plans right now other than um, uh, make uh, making some kind of arrangement to uh, meet up and exchange um, presents with my niece and my sister mama. But um, other than that, it's just like 
hacking because I'm 